Hello students, welcome back to our English class. Uh, in this particular video, I am going to continue with the rest of the chapter remaining. Uh, our, and the name of the chapter is uh, uh, Discovering Tut, the Saga Continues, written by Air Williams and this happens to be the third chapter as I have told you, as I have mentioned, in my mentioned you in my previous video. And over here, we are going to uh, start with explanation of the following chapters, uh, sorry, following paragraphs, you know. So, uh, yeah, we have, uh, I have explained you in my last video till this paragraph and I am going to start my explanation in this video from this paragraph, right. So, uh, over here, uh, I must tell you that uh, after Akhenaten's death, a mysterious ruler named Smenkare showed up for a brief period and departed with hardly any sign. Right, it was then that young Tutankhamun, that is Tut, took the throne. And the boy king soon changed his name to Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun means living image of Amun. Amun means Am Amun, a major god. I have already, already mentioned in my previous video that Amun was a major Egyptian god. So, uh, Tutankhamun means living image of Amun. So, Tutankhaten changed his name to Tutankhamun and during his reign, the country witnessed a return of the old ways, that is the old prosperity, the height, the success, reaching the pinnacle of success, uh, prosperity and uh, restoration of all the old rituals starting from worshipping uh, the god Amun and uh, everything was restored. So, and uh, after that we also come to know in this paragraph that he reigned for about 9 years and then died suddenly, right. Now, after that in this, in this following paragraph, you will get to learn that uh, the Egyptian mummy project uh, was been carried out and that project recorded almost 600 mummies so far and is still counting. Right, so at that at the year, uh, sorry, in the year when A. R. William has written this uh, particular story, uh, that time already 600 mummies were been uh, recorded and uh, still counting. So this project, Egyptian mummy project, was been carried out in Egypt. The next stage is scanning the mummy with a portable CT machine. So not only recording the mummies but also scanning each of those mummies in a portable CT machine. Uh, was the part of this project, right. And out of all the mummies, King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned to ascertain the secret of his death. Now, why I will tell you? Because Tutankhamun died an untimely death. He was a fondly pharaoh. He reigned for three, nine years and then died suddenly. There are the, his uh, death and the consequences of his death were unclear at that point of time when his burial activity has been done. So, not much studies were been done at that point of time and lot of conjectures, lot of suspicions and uh, curiosity was there uh, in the mind of uh, the people. Even in 1968, an anatomy professor has extrayed his mummy and has uh, revealed that some of his breast bones and front ribs were missing. So, lot of uh, these things, a uh, lot of these factors instilled the, instilled the urge, you know, in the mind of the archaeologist to, to, to study Tut's, Tutankhamun's mummy first among all the mummies, right. And uh, just to, uh, why, why, why? Because his, the secret related to his death uh, has to be revealed. Now, the, while the scanning was being done, the million dollar scanner had stopped functioning. In this paragraph, you will see that uh, the night when the, when the forensic reconstruction, that is the scientific investigation of the mummy was being done, the million dollar scanner which was gifted uh, by National Geographic Society, uh, manufactured by Simmons, that million dollar scanner had stopped functioning because of the sand in a cooler fan that got stuck. The guards who were there looked anxious and said jokingly that it was because of the curse of the pharaoh, it was because of the curse of the pharaoh, um, uh, because of the, it was the curse of the pharaoh that uh, all these processes are coming to stop, means in the midway they are stopping. 
So finally, the problem what happened is that the problem got solved that is the uh, scanner started working and the problem got solved and with the scan machine uh, got getting rectified the task got completed rather finished I must say. So, Tut was carried back to his tomb in less than 3 hours after he was removed from his coffin. Right. Now, um, after that in this following paragraphs what you will learn is that the scanned images of Tut revealed that nothing had gone seriously wrong and Zahi Hawaz was evidently confront, uh, so, sorry, he was evidently comforted, you know. And so he was uh, feeling a little bit relaxed and easy going, like, okay, the, now there was no major wrong with the mummy, so maybe it was not a murder, um, uh, murder mystery which is related to his death, but uh, it may be it was a natural death. But when Tutankhamun's mummy was being kept back, was kept uh, was kept back inside the tomb the wind had stopped the wind had stopped blowing and the winter air was cold and still and laying heavy in the atmosphere you know and just above the entrance of Tooth's tomb stood Orion who is Orion Orion is nothing but the constellation of stars now, constellation means a collective noun for stars that the ancient Egyptians knew as the soul of Osiris. Osiris is the god of afterlife and uh, as if it was watching Tut, you know, as if it was watching Tut that the boy Shurao is again put back to rest uh, as it was done many years ago, as it was done many years ago uh, through uh, funerary rites done by the priests. So, uh, so, it was like that, that the constellation of stars that the ancient Egyptians knew as the soul of Osiris, the god of afterlife was supervising, was supervising the young pharaohs returning to his rightful place back into the tomb inside the pyramid. So, with this here the story uh, ends actually and uh, this is the, this is the, uh, the, the, this is which you are going to learn in this particular chapter students, right.